Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the inaugural episode of our next Parish video series. Um, we were so pleased uh, that so many people were able and willing to help out with Turning to Christ in the Desert, our Lenten video series where we shared uh, with each other our desert spaces, the spaces where we go to find that peace and that quiet uh, to get in touch with God in a, in a special way. Um, and we thought that a good follow-up to that, since it is the Easter season, might be a series called Resurrection Moments. So what Resurrection Moments is going to be is, you know, we all are aware that this past 14 months or so at this point has been pretty tough. Um, there's been a lot of negatives and there's been a lot of things that really kind of, you know, that affected us all in a negative way on a large scale, right? That we all felt and we all have that common shared experience. But that does not mean that, you know, this has been a lost year or that this year has not been important or most specifically that nothing good has happened this year. Um, so what Resurrection Moments is going to be is we are soliciting from you, our parishioners, and also from some of the parish staff, including myself, your stories of uplifting moments, resurrection moments, where you felt the presence of God in your life during this dark time, this difficult time that we've all shared together. Um, you know, good things have still happened, and I think it's a good idea uh, to speak about with each other some of the good things and the uplifting things and the, the kind of God moments that we've all had in this past year. So figured I would kick it off and then please uh, share with us your resurrection moments. Um, we'd love to uh, we'd love to share them in a video or if you'd like to share them yourself, you're more than welcome to do so as well. My resurrection moment is, uh, it, it pertains to the youth group. Um, I am the parish youth minister, obviously, and I, you know, that so that is my, my chief focus here at the parish is the success of our youth ministry program. Um, and COVID and youth ministry don't always play nice together. Um, you know, some people don't remember, but we had one month of in-person youth group meetings ever, like the NGD, the Next Generation of Disciples, was founded in February of 2020, and then the pandemic hit the next month. So we had like four in-person meetings, and then we were on Zoom for about four months after that. Um, and the youth group could have died right there. That could have been it. Could have been dead on arrival. Um, so my resurrection moment has been the fact that our wonderful, wonderful high schoolers have stuck with this program. Um, and I've been so impressed with the, the way that they've looked out for each other. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not a teenager anymore. Um, they listen to me to a degree, but you know, the, the, the best, the best examples and the best advocates for our high schoolers are each other. Um, and they formed a really incredible and supportive community where they look out for each other. Um, if I had to pinpoint a specific moment, I think it would be the first meeting back in person that we had after being online for four months. Uh, I think it was in July or so, uh, end of July, um, that we started meeting in person again, um, and just to be able to to see our NGD members come back uh, in person and, and see them face to face, or well, masked face to masked face, and not over a screen, it made such a huge difference. And you know, God, God thank God, um, we have continued to be able to meet in person with you know occasional online meetings since that point. Um, and I think all things considered, you know, things are looking up right now. We have our Bags of Hope toiletry drive going on right now, um, our first NGD exclusive service project, and we're already starting the planning for our next one. We have big plans for over the summer. So my resurrection moment has been the resilience and the kindness of our high schoolers, specifically our NGD members, in keeping this program going and letting it grow and thrive with each other. Um, Again, I can do so much, but they are the drivers of this program. So my resurrection moment has just been getting to spend time with them and enjoying seeing them form uh, this incredibly supportive and welcoming community for our other high schoolers. So that is my resurrection moment, one of my resurrection moments. That's not to say there's only been one. Um, now we want to hear from you. Uh, this series is you know, intended as an opportunity for the parish to grow in community with each other by sharing the positive experiences we've had over the past year. So share yours in the comments below. Um, you can get in touch with us at communications at stbridgetcheshire.org. Um, you can call in your resurrection moments as well. Um, again, we would be happy to share your stories, but you're more than welcome to share them yourselves. If you want to take a little video and send it our way, I'll edit it down and, and make it work for you guys. So um, really looking forward to hearing about 
about your resurrection moments uh, during this time as we celebrate the season of resurrection, the season of Easter. And I can't wait to see where this series goes with you guys. So thank you so much for watching the inaugural episode of Resurrection Moments, and we'll see you very soon. God bless.